Hey all, Fraser here, Noble Canine's Head Behaviour Specialist. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the connection between nutrition, fitness and training, and how this impacts your dog's behaviour. If these three components are achieved successfully for our dogs, we have a far higher chance of having the Zen doggo that we all desire. So let's start with the gut. The gut is the command centre for canine cam. We've all heard of the brain-gut connection and this is no different for our dogs. Picture these ingredients not just as tasty food but as the building blocks of our dog's gut health. Every scoop of probiotic, every carefully selected ingredient or supplement is like a peace treaty for the stomach, ensuring a cascade of happy hormones and a mood which can be as balanced as a treat on the nose. Now, I could go a lot further into this topic, however, having already done a fairly detailed video with Dr. Francis Cabana on this, I would urge you to take a watch of that video if you would like to know more. What I'll do is I'll put a link to that video in this video's post. Now let's take a look at physical fitness. Think of this as a running path to your dog's tranquility. When your dog hits their stride, whether or not they're jogging with you or simply playing a game of fetch, they're not just burning off their breakfast. They're igniting a firework display of endorphins. This right here is the face of exhausted bliss. The aftermath of a good physical fitness session with your dog is the prelude to a good nap and that leads to a calm, happy dog. Of course, physical fitness isn't the only aspect of this. Mental exercise is equally important. As such, it's important to give your dogs opportunities to explore on walks, such as sniffing dog-led walks, including enrichment in your dog's routine, such as snuffle mats or stuffed Kongs, is incredibly important to get their scent drive going, their seeking system. This has a similar way of generating endorphins which keeps our dogs happy and calm. Come. And finally, the pierres de resistance, training. Training is about more than your dog just doing tricks. It's the invisible thread that ties you and your dog together in understanding. Effectively, training is you building a common language with your dog so that you can communicate what is safe, what is not, and so that your dog will trust you. It solidifies that bond between you. And when you've got that bond and that trust, not only do you have a well-trained dog, but you've also got a dog who is happier and feels safer in our human environment. Every good boy you give, or yes, strengthens and fosters a mutual respect and builds that bond, which effectively says, I get you, buddy. So, there you have it. A well-fed gut and a fit body and mind and an understood dog makes for a harmonious household. It's not rocket science. It's something even more profound. It's dog science.